Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to replace the gauge temperature sensor on a Toyota Tacoma equipped with a 3.4 liter V6. This is a 2001 model and a similar procedure may apply to other Toyota models too. Make sure the engine is cold and open the hood. This sensor is located at the rear of the engine bay behind the air plenum. It is an awkward spot to work in and you'll see that in a moment. Here just a quick peek using the mechanics mirror. No other components need to be removed. First you'll need to remove the electrical connector. Use compressed air for cleaning before removing the sensor. Next is using a 12 millimeter deep socket with a 6 inch and 3 inch extension. There is a small round cutout in the harness duct to slide in the socket. Here's a quick view before the sensor is completely removed so you can see my tool setup and where the socket does need to be routed. A faulty sensor will cause issues with your temperature gauge, typically not functioning. Another common issue with a faulty temperature gauge on these trucks can also include the connectors on the rear of the gauge cluster becoming loose. That does require the removal of the cluster and then tightening up those terminals. Another issue can also be a fault within the wiring. Remove a sensor, make sure you don't drop it as it's a tight fit. A mechanics claw can also be used to grab the sensor if you're having a hard time getting your hands in there. Next is a quick reference as a baseline for the sensor. I tested its resistance rating and just like the engine coolant sensor for the ECU, its values will vary depending on the temperature. Unfortunately I wasn't able to find the factory measurements required for the sensor. We are looking at about 567 ohms currently. If the sensor is put in hot or cold water, you should see this value move. Now install the sensor. Try to install it with your fingers if possible, or install it with a socket with plastic or paper wrapped around the hex so it doesn't fall out. Being that this is brass, it is a softer material so you do risk the chance of cross-threading it, damaging the threads. Snug it up by hand first, and then tighten with the ratchet. Reconnect the connector. And finally, your gauge should be functioning properly. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. And leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.